From the KATC Weather Lab, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, a beautiful tropically like day with temperatures near 80 breezy south winds ushering in. You can kind of feel that humidity. It was real humid this morning, but once those winds picked up, it actually felt refreshing and we have some more refreshing weather on the way and it's going to be cooler as well. In between, we have a front tomorrow afternoon that'll bring a quick shot of passing showers, but that's about it and some good looking weather going into the weekend. So as we look at the big picture across the region, once again, heavy rainfall and the threat of flooding rains from the Arklatex through Arkansas into northern Mississippi and portions of Tennessee haven't gotten a break here, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. More showers and storms later on tonight with a cool front firming up, uh, but as that front approaches us, the dynamics for storms diminishes, so we're just going to stay scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. Notice we still have flood watches across the Arklatex, flood warnings going east of Little Rock and then just north of El Dorado and then as we get into northern portions of uh, Mississippi as well. So issues there, but locally we have been quite blessed with quiet weather and I'm putting together all the numbers for February and the entire winter. We'll talk a little bit more about that by the end of the weather cast, but we have been quite lucky in Acadiana, not so the northwestern part of the state with respect to rainfall uh, during the month of February. 75 degrees right now, breezy south winds gusting to 20, dew points in the upper 60s, so with those stout southerly winds staying with us tonight, we won't get much below 70. Briefly touched 80 this afternoon and temperatures just falling about 4 to 5 degrees from where they are right now. So future cast indicating fair to partly cloudy skies, more clouds toward tomorrow morning. Here comes that front, few showers, very thin line of showers breezing on through as we go across the area. Rain totals a tenth of an inch or less, so not much, maybe a quarter inch in spots. And then by late tomorrow afternoon into early tomorrow evening, things quiet down. We cool off and we'll be heading down into the low to mid 50s for Friday morning. Severe weather threat across the Arklatex, back across Texas, mainly overnight tonight through the pre-dawn hours. But again, locally, we're not expecting any severe weather nor heavy rainfall. So pretty good looking weather pattern all in all. We do have, uh, let me just back it up here. Just want to show you the winds. They'll stay breezy tonight, gusty out of the southwest. Then you can see them turning more north, northwesterly, and then northerly. So it's going to be another breezy one tomorrow, but wind settling down by tomorrow night. As for temperatures near 70, perhaps upper 60s for an overnight low to the north, and tomorrow we're going to hit 77 or 78 degrees before that front pushes on through and makes its effects felt going into tomorrow evening. We get down into the low to mid 50s for Friday morning. It feels nice and fresh and there'll be a nice little breeze out of the north northeast so jackets and sweaters come back out and as we head into friday afternoon just a gorgeous day temperatures upper 60s will top out in the lower 70s for the high friday afternoon so breezy tropical evening on tap more clouds later on showers possible to the north very late tonight at 20 percent most of us stay dry however 50 50 shot at scattered showers and they will be quick moving so no issues turning cooler late we'll go 77 for the projected high cooling off nicely and a free beautiful day Saturday Sunday and Monday clouds returning Sunday next frontal system will give us a good chance of showers and storms we think by Monday night followed by even cooler temperatures for a few days so getting into a nice progressive March pattern with temperatures closer to where they should be this time of year and as I mentioned I'm going to go back over the numbers for the entire meteorological winter which ends today and you could say two things about about this winter milder than normal mm -hmm. but a severe winter for Acadiana mm -hmm. with those yeah. Arctic outbreaks those more on that coming up tonight at 10. All right thanks All right. Rob still ahead tonight right here on the news